Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts. And this morning, I'm on my way to Doug Jackson's to cut out a Rocket King rocket stove on his plasma cutter. Stay tuned. Welcome back, subscribers. If you haven't joined us yet, you can do so by clicking on the Green Shorts icon that's gonna appear in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen throughout the video. Doug's place is about 20 minutes away from my in-law's house in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I had sent him a vector file ahead of time, and he was working on the plans when Trevor and I arrived. This has worked out all right, because you already have those drawn as separate lines. Yes. So all we gotta do is pick everything that's a slit. All right, that's, oh, yeah. that's everything I see as a slit, so now I'm gonna move that. I just made multiple layers just so it makes it easy to keep them apart. I'm going to move that to all these, go to a new layer. We're going to call it outside. And so we'll select all those. Cool. Okay. Now we go back. We're going to cut slits first, hole second, outside third. This one to that. Boom. See that? See, I know what I'm doing. I don't need you little punk kid telling me what to do. Okay, here we go. Here, I bet this one's big enough. Is that big enough to do the whole thing? I think so, yeah. It takes a 20, like a 24 by 12. It'll be big enough for some chest. Piece. They brought some metal with me, but Doug was kind enough to pull some scrap from his yeah. pile. That crack on the front is getting bigger and bigger every time I put water in. We should have following. Coming through. Don't have to shield your eyes from this stuff. Oh, is this CNC? This is CNC. It's a plasma cutter. It's unwelded. Is it? The electric cord. Right? Very electric. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
like a stove to me. I'll tell you what, if you want to make a hundred of them. <laughs> yeah, that's the... We're not far away from getting it really nice. There's the one that, yeah, see it missed this hole right here. And then also I think you're right and about this the, is too part, small. the parts being too close because we got burnout from the other part. Yeah, I think that. so. Yeah, it came back across it. Here. We can adjust the meat. That, that's easy to do. And these look like they're... We got to see. It looks like they're too thin or they could actually be moved over a little bit more. Because they need to... There shouldn't be a notch yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then here too, you can see the notch right in it there. So we got to move our side lines out a bit. We set the first stove aside, made a few adjustments to the file, and then we're back on the CNC. Speed set too high, right there. The, some of the, the, you know what? See, once you grind it off, those, those are gonna fall out. Right. Looks good. Clean one up just to see what it looks like. All right. Here's the other one. Yeah. One thing I learned from Doug was that the galvanized coating on the metal I had found would produce toxic fumes when the stove was fired and that grinding the coating off would solve that problem. The Pazman did a great job on this cutout. It also gave us an opportunity to figure out what we need to do a little bit differently. Yeah, see that's the right side. So what we would do is we'd widen that out a little bit more, but. It's hard to do with plasma because you can't really come back down the edge again. We'd have to, hmm, I don't know. Your assessment was that a laser... A laser would be the thing. The right yeah. thing to do. Yeah, because they could come back down that. Plasma, you're kind of with whatever curve you got. Well, laser could, could cut that like a notch. It would cut, oh, it, yeah, would cut it, it out. Yeah, it would look just like this with a grinder done with it. Yeah. But I mean, you can you can certainly prototype with a plasma torch on right. something this small, and that was the goal today to kind of see if it yeah, could be I, done. Well, I enjoy doing it because I get I don't get to mess with if it's not if it's not quarter inch. It, you know, I, yeah, I, we're, we're we're cutting with a with a saw. And we just hardly have any quarter inch out there. I mean, anything smaller than that. So, so we got a couple holes to adjust here that didn't cut out all the way, but we know it can do it right. And then the groove. Yeah, I was cutting these. They're almost gone. You just gotta. Ah, yeah, yeah see, so you just bend them out. But the deal is I had a little, I was starting it in the center and using a, a lead in. Right. And I think I'd, I'd not do that. I can tell it to do an overlap instead. And I think I'd get rid of that little knob right there if I did that. Also, it did again, a great job on the We told the, it it was connected. a quarter inch kerf and it's not. So it thinks it's cutting where it's actually not reaching yet. So if we t told it the truth that, hey, you actually cut a 16th inch kerf when you're cutting something this thin. I think it'd be fine. Yeah, it was kind of neat that it got that little notch. Yeah, I love that it cut that 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 was probably the trickiest that cut on there. That surprised me too that it did that so beautifully. Did it cut? And this little thing here without messing it up. Yeah. These two holes, I, I don't know what it did there. I have to go back and look at the G code. The plasma fart, I think, the, is what the, it's the called. The plasma yeah. fart, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, let's cut these slots just so I can set it together. How's it go together? Um, there, there are two pieces with the top, with the notches top. Oh, and that's and, the top of the stove, yeah. Yeah. So all and then, the wires go like that. Exactly. And then... So that'd be a side. The, that, that, the front you have there can go... 
Yeah, that's the back. So that can go in like that, yeah. Yeah. got to find the one that's not. Look at that. Ah. Yeah, he's, he's doing pretty good with that mm -hmm. hand up on the rail. That's right. Boy, that really does lock it up. That didn't, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. All right. We made a stove. Hard, exactly. So, you know, I saw little stoves like this in Ghana. Uh, they used them for um, for uh, coal burning stoves. A little heavier metal, maybe. maybe. I saw something similar in Gambia, where but but it was um, it was like a, a, a wider stove top. They had holes. Yeah. Almost like a, they're burning a tray. They're, they're burning charcoal. Go out, make charcoal from firewood. <laughs> right, right. Charcoal is like this. If you can get them to burn the raw wood and cook over that, you're saving a lot of time and effort. And the, and and then using the convection current to in, make make it more efficient. Yeah. Yeah, this gets a lot more air in there. Hey, let's see, Russ. One of you is Russ. Russ. You're Russ. You're Eli. Yeah. Doug, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Good. Good. This is uh, this, he's from. This is you're on Green Shorts. He makes video here. Okay. okay. For for Green Shorts is his YouTube channel. We just put together a rocket stove. Great. Yeah. yeah. Check it out. You can't go wrong with a rocket stove. Have you messed with them what's before? What's getting What's getting heated on top of that? Just a pot. Anything? Just a yeah. pot on there? Just yeah. the awesome. can't. I've never used my CNC to do uh, thin stuff, but uh -huh. that's what we've been working on. Check it out. Not too shabby. Yeah. And then the idea is that uh, we don't have all the, the 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 grooves cut out, but it stacks, and then th this goes through all those those grooves, and it um, it'll do kind of a and flat a flat stack. Together. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I see. You want That's this. why we cut. You want this to pin it all together. Exactly. Yeah. And then you put a hairband around there, and it. Locks it off. Thanks, Doug. Yeah. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. Did you uh, we'll see around the boat a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Doug Jackson is no stranger to metal DIY projects. Did I mention he's building a 74 foot metal sailboat in his front yard? Check it out. Make sure you check out the link to Doug's channel in the description below.
So I've got a few tweaks to make to the stove that Doug cut out on the plasma cutter. You can buy the plans for this rocket stove by clicking on the link above or the website link in the description below. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. And subscribe for a new DIY video almost every Friday.